MTV starts now. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Rodders. I'm Julian. And I'm Michael. And welcome back to MTV. Hey, Julian, do you know of anything that's happened in March throughout history? I can't think of anything. Well, here's Mr. Bellin with This Month in History. Hi, this is uh, Mr. Bowen. Um, I am a world history, economics, and civ te uh, civics teacher here at Menachee. I also teach AP government. Um, I also um, am the head coach for the freshman football team, so you may have seen me out there. Um, hopefully today we can teach you a little bit about history in March. All right, so um, that first event that we can look at that happened in the month of March, uh, the first one that came to my mind was the Spanish influenza. Um, so it was March of 1918. So if uh, anyone remembers their history from US or world, uh, that is world during World War I. Um, the Spanish flu is uh, seen as the world's you know, deadliest pandemic that's really ever happened. It affected close to 30% of the world's population, killing millions. Um, people don't know the exact origins, but people say it probably started in the United States. Um, and so that was a one big event that happened in March, kind of similar to what we saw in COVID. You know, people you know, started to wear masks. We had, you know, but we couldn't you know, shut down things too much because we're in the middle of fighting that World War I. Um, and so one thing that kind of I thought was coincidental is that also that was kind of March of 2020 whenever we had kind of shut everything down for COVID. So I think we kind of see some parallels there. Uh, similarly, you know, it took some time and, you know, through kind of immunizations eventually and through, you know, herd immunity, eventually we were able to, you know, get on the other side of it. All right, and the, the second event um, that I thought of when we look in the month of March uh, was, uh, if you remember, we're gonna skip to World War II. Uh, Winston Churchill, was, who was the prime minister of Great Britain during World War II, was seen as a great leader. Um, during March, after the conclusion, and we defeated you know, the Nazis, um, Winston Churchill's gonna give a speech um, called the Iron Curtain Speech. Uh, and this was to you know, symbolize um, the Soviet Union trying to drop an iron current across Europe. Um, it was symbolized with the Berlin Wall, um, and it was seen as a speech that kind of kicked off that kind of what's going to be seen in the Cold War. Um, so that's going to be between the United States and the Soviet Union. Um, and it was really, um, you know, communist within the Soviet Union. And we had, you know, the United States um, that obviously was very anti-communist. And it's going to be about 30 years um, of kind of a little bit of back and forth. You know, there's going to be some things that happen in you know, Latin America where we're going to try to stop the spread of communism. Um, if you guys remember from your U.S. history class, there's going to be the Red Scare. Um, and so it kind of kicks off that whole 30 years. We're going to have the space race um, of all during the Cold War. Eventually, the Cold War will come to an end, kind of symbolized with the tearing down of the Berlin Wall. Once the Berlin Wall is torn down and the Soviet Union collapses in the 90s, we'll see the end to the Soviet Union. Um, but it looks like today, um, under current Russia, with their leadership with Vladimir Putin, um, that we're almost seeing a little bit of a second Cold War, and we're seeing some proxy wars in Ukraine. Um, so we'll kind of see what is to come with that. All right, and this uh, final event that we can look at in the month of March um, is going to be the Reagan assassination attempt. Um, so President Ronald Reagan is you know, famous for being president in the 1980s. Um, and he's going to go give a give a speech at a hotel. Um, coincidentally, the passageway he actually takes is was set up after JFK was assassinated. It was supposed to be very secure to make sure that wasn't any kind of risk of a potential assassination attempt. Um, and this man named John Hinckley Jr. Um, is going to uh, he's a little crazy and he writes a letter to actress Jodie Foster that says he's going to win her over or impress her by trying to assassinate President Ronald Reagan. 
Um, so what ends up happening is uh, he does actually get shot. I believe he fires a series of six bullets. Um, one of them does hit Ronald Reagan. He's going to escape through that secret secret passageway that was set up for JFK. Um, and luckily, he is going to make a recovery um, and show his resilience as president of the United States. Um, and this is the last time that we actually had a president get shot. And so uh, hopefully we won't have any other kind of assassination attempts in our future to come. I'm sure we'll be very peaceful, right? And that's it. Thank you, Mr. Bone. Hey, I wonder what sports are going on this week. Well, here's the thing with this week's sports. Good morning, Marauders. On Tuesday, it's going to be tennis, boys, JV, and varsity against Golden West. Wednesday, tracks, boys and girls, varsity against Portable and Golden West. Baseball, freshman, JV, varsity against Redwood. Thursday, tennis, boys, JV, and varsity against El Diamante. Good luck, Marauders. Thanks, Nathan. Hey, Amber, do you know what the WWN is? No, what is it? Worldwide News. Oh, yeah, let's go check it out. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Worldwide News. Recently, a gigantic new snake species was discovered in the Amazon rainforest. The anaconda was recorded to reach more than 20 feet. How outstanding. In other news, our very own Bridget Mendler from Good Luck Charlie has branched out from the entertainment industry. She graduated from USC many years ago and just recently became the CEO of her very own satellite startup. Goes to show us that anyone's path can change. On a more serious note, Iran Bushnell, an active duty airman, lit himself on fire as an extreme act of protest of the Israel Hamas war. He stated, I will no longer be complicit to genocide and screamed free Palestine as he caught on fire. MTV sends our condolences to him and his family. That is all for today's worldwide news. Please do us a favor and have a great week. Now back to the studio. Loki, I feel like something's missing. I think it's the weather. Oh, yeah. Let's go with Brianna with the weather. Good morning, Marauders. This week's weather will hit a high of 71 and a low of 44. Now let's head back to the studio with our anchors. She's so real for that. Oh, God. What's all we have for you today, Marauders? We're heading out now. See you next time. Hey Marauders, these are this week's sports wins. Baseball against Lindsay, 18-0, 8-5 overall, 1-3 and three in league. Softball against Golden West, 22-0, 7-10 overall. Good job, Marauders.